Hi, my name's Allison, and I'm from TechBoomers.com. Today, you'll learn about Facebook account settings. You can change your account settings in order to update your information and to make your account more secure. You can control your passwords, notifications, basic information, and more. Here's what you'll learn in this tutorial. How to change your general account settings, how to block a user or application, and how to change what you'll be notified about on your email. To modify your settings, click the downwards pointing arrow in the top right corner of your Facebook screen. Then select the Settings option on the Toolbar's drop-down menu. By default, you'll be taken to the General Account Settings page. You'll notice that General is highlighted in the left menu. This will tell you which page you are on. On the General Settings page, you can change your name, username, email, language, and more. Next, we have the Security Settings page. Here you can add an extra level of security to your account by modifying these settings. For example, you can have Facebook send you an email if someone else is trying to access your account. We're going to focus on adding some Trusted Contacts. Trusted contacts are people who can securely help you access your account if you have trouble logging into Facebook. It's good to make sure that these people are close friends or family that you can easily get a hold of. You need at least three close contacts to continue with this step. Essentially, whoever you choose will be given a code to help you access your account. Click Choose Trusted Contacts to continue. Type a name where it says Find Friends. Click the name once it appears in the list to select it. Once you've chosen three names, click Confirm. You'll never have to worry about forgetting your password again. Facebook will allow these people to help you access your account. Now click Close when you're done. You also have the option to deactivate your account from this page. In the Privacy section, you can control who can see what you post, who on Facebook is allowed to send you messages or friend requests, who is able to look you up on Facebook, via Facebook itself, or with the common internet search engine. For more information, see our tutorial on changing your privacy settings on Facebook to learn how to do all of these things. Here are the timeline and tagging settings. Timeline and tagging allows you to manage who can tag you and who can see posts that you're tagged in. Check out our Facebook tagging tutorial for more information. The next section we'll look at is blocking. This prevents other users, pages, and applications on Facebook from contacting or interacting with you. This is useful if someone keeps inviting you to events or to use applications you're not interested in. This can also be used if someone is outright harassing you. It's also useful if something keeps showing up on your newsfeed or timeline, even if you haven't liked it and aren't interested in it. To block all of a user's activity towards you, click the text box next to Block Users. Enter the person's name or email and then click Block. If you change your mind, you can click Unblock beside the person's information. You can also block a user from sending you event or application invites, block an application from asking you for information, or block a page from contacting you or appearing on your newsfeed. Keep this page in mind as you continue to use Facebook. It may come in handy. Notification settings. Manage your notifications here. You can choose whether or not you want to receive notifications that you get on Facebook. You can choose whether or not you receive notifications you get on Facebook, also on your email or mobile phone. You can also choose what kind of activities on Facebook that you want to be notified about. Email. Depending on how much you check Facebook, You'll want to change these notifications so you don't get unnecessary emails, also so that you don't miss out. Choose to receive all notifications if you don't check Facebook that often. Choose important notifications about you or activity you've missed if you want less emails. Check only notifications about your account, security, and privacy if you prefer to receive only updates about your security. We recommend choosing important notifications for now. You can come back and change this later if you'd like. Now, push notifications. 
If you have a smartphone or tablet, push notifications can be modified from the device that you use. This means how many times you will get a notice that something has happened on Facebook via your smartphone or tablet. In this section, you can change what you get notified about, including activity that involves you, close friends and family. You can choose to change this so you won't get so many emails. Birthdays, we recommend keeping this on so you know when someone's birthday is. Your friend's life events. Tags, get notifications when you're tagged in a photo. Keep this for anyone so you'll know which photos you've been tagged in. Group activity. When you start following groups, you can choose how many notifications you will receive. We recommend just the highlights, but feel free to change these to all posts later if you feel like you're missing out. You can update your mobile account settings here. Select Add a Phone to be able to have Facebook send you notifications via text message to your mobile phone. If you've allowed Facebook to do so, you can receive notifications for messages, friend requests, status updates, and more. You can also update your own status from your mobile phone if you've installed the Facebook mobile application or app on your mobile phone. Apps is short for applications. Here you can manage all the external applications with which you've connected to Facebook. Some computer and mobile applications have the option to log into Facebook such as LinkedIn or Skype. Payments. While Facebook is free, some third-party applications cost money. If you decide to use any of these applications, you can enter your payment information here. And that's how you change your Facebook account settings. Go ahead and try changing these for yourself. If you are on YouTube and want to follow a step-by-step -step guide for this tutorial, click here. We have many other great tutorials on techboomers.com. Click here to learn even more about Facebook. That's it for now. Thanks for watching and happy sharing.